So how to hack your prospects calendar, email and phone and computer to increase your consult show rates. So one of the biggest things that I know that personal trainers hate with a passion is no-shows. This can be so frustrating, especially when you're starting out or you need to increase your income. I'm Josh, I'm a fitness business coach to trainers worldwide. Just in case you're wondering who this guy is talking. I know the most frustrating thing can be when prospects for consults or free sessions don't show. You as a trainer, you feel used. You know, you put your time aside for them, yet they didn't bother to show. Now, the step I'm gonna show you, I use this as an extra step with all my appointments, my clients, and even phone calls. Just basically to increase my show rights, but also to create a habit of schedule to my paying clients. I do stop doing this once I've created that habit with them. But you can use it across any niche. Hairdressers, nail salons, doctors, dentists, anything that actually has to be booked in or anyone. I recommend gym managers who are booking in tours to do this 100%. Now, this is a free hack. Well, it's not even really a hack. It's a service that you have available to you right now on your phone, your computer, that many people don't actually utilize. It's Pretty simple, yet 99% of most trainers and businesses don't even use it. Hey, if there's something out there that is free and it can help with my in, you know, my show rates and my console rates, well, it's basically a no-brainer to use. Now, before we explain this, there's a big warning. <laughs> use this strategy carefully. I know there are gonna be people out there that will abuse it, but when you use this strategy right, you will see the benefits. So use this with purposeful intention and respect. So how can you hack your client's calendar, their email, their phone, so the event or the appointment appears? Mm -hmm. Well, let's jump over to that computer behind me and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up our calendar because this is where the hack originates from. Now I know a lot of people have, you know, their um, Gmail calendars and stuff like that, which they can use, which I've obviously got here. So we obviously want to make sure that this can be working across every single platform. So to ensure that pretty much everyone gets it, we know that using the default calendar that we've actually got in our obviously Mac program, you probably got the exact same thing in yours as well. The default calendar works the best. It's the, it's the best, it works the best. So we're going to use that one. As you can see, my calendar is looking a bit bare. I've just unticked everything. I'm gonna be using that default calendar, which is an old calendar that I have as well. Um, so let's just get straight into it. Let's say you've, you know, it's Sunday or, or it's Friday even. It doesn't matter when the day was, but you booked in a consult. Now I know typically most trainers and what they're gonna do, they're going to go to their calendar and obviously create an event and go, let's go Bart, let's go free session, okay? Enter. That's what a lot of trainers are gonna do. I'm gonna put the person's name, free session. So what I recommend that you do is once you're off the call or even while you're on the call, you wanna simply book them in and ensure that you get all their details. So I mean, you need to make sure that you get their phone number, you get their email address. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really need at the moment. Um, phone number and email address so they can obviously receive the invitation. Okay, so let's open, or let's um, double click and open this again. So we've got Bart as a free session. You know, he doesn't know that he's got obviously got that free session, but we're gonna make sure that it appears on all his devices. Now, depending on the lead that you get or how you met this person, you know that you might've got this free lead from maybe one of your business affiliations, from a lead box, from a friend, they might not know where your gym or the location that you're working from, where it is at. So I recommend that you put in your location. Now there's heaps of locations already put in here. Let's just go Snap Fitness, for example. Um, and as you can probably see, there's a lot of different Snap Fitnesses around me. Um, let's go Fitness First. And as you can probably see, all the Fitness First um, are there. So I recommend that you put the location if the person has, you've never met them inside the gym and only met them outside of the gym. Okay, let's just put um, my gym Joshua, okay. 
Now, obviously we have the dates here and we want to click on that to expand it. So we've got the all day event, which moves it into there up the top as an all day event. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that later, but we're going to let the moment for this event, since this is their actual time that they want to come see you. For some reason it's jumped to 12 o'clock. Now let's just go to 9 a.m. I don't know why I've done that. Okay, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now, do we want this event to repeat? No, because it's not a repeating event, unless you're one of those trainers that have, you know, maybe two, three free sessions for the client before you actually sell to them. I don't recommend that you're doing that because it, it's harder. I find in this first session, you sell to them, it's a lot easier. Now, travel time, don't do anything with the travel time. You can obviously put that, but you don't know where they live at the moment. We haven't asked those details yet, unless you've got that. But this is where we wanna obviously have some alerts. So we wanna have an alert, and I like to put a custom alert for them, okay? So we wanna do an email. And, from the, and these are from your default email addresses, not to their email addresses yet, because we don't know their email addresses. Um, but we're gonna do that one. And we wanna send them an email exactly 24 hours before, okay? Exactly 24 hours before, not minutes. So we're gonna get hours and it will probably go to one day and we're gonna press okay. So that means 24 hours before this event, so exactly 9, 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, they're gonna get an email from us that they've got, obviously got this event. But we will wanna add another alert, okay? Now this alert is going to be another custom alert and we're just gonna do maybe a message for the sound. And I want to do that, you know, at least in 60 minutes. So one hour or 60 minutes before, um, one hour before their session. Okay. And then I wanna do another one. So it's already done in that one before. Um, just do another one, just maybe, let's go 30 minutes before their session, okay? So there's alert, alert, and there's an email there. Now, this is still looking very bad. Now, for example, if I sent the invitation to Bart, that's gonna be me, so just gonna put my email address anyway there. Um, him getting Bart free session, it's pretty boring invitation. So I like to put in up here, instead of a free session, I'm still gonna have their name. I'm gonna change that to confirmed, okay? This, using just, using confirmed, it, I'm gonna say, it increases your chances on them showing up. It generally puts more pressure on the person to show up to something if it's, if it's confirmed over not confirmed, okay? So that's what I like to put there, but it's still pretty bare. So I wanna put a note and a URL. So I'm gonna put some notes down here for the client. Now, as I said, I've already pre-written this out so that I recommend you do something similar. You can copy it, it's up to you. Um, but I just like having something pre-written out um, to make it 10 times simpler. So we're gonna go to the notes here, and I'm just gonna put a note here, okay? So hi, now we can obviously write, but great chatting briefly about your results today, yada, yada, yada. Um, remember what we're gonna be doing, so come prepared in comfy clothes. Um, talk yourself up a little bit. You know, I'm a head trainer here at the club, so I'll be also doing all these extra stuff. So I've basically said that we're gonna be doing um, a free session, uh, or free consult and assessment, we're gonna start discuss their goals and how they're gonna achieve them. There's gonna be some expert recommendation on supplements. There's gonna be a personal recommendation or personal trainer recommendation for specific specifics to their goals. A nutritional assessment, there's gonna be a free protein shake and a daily calorie intake need to achieve your goals. So basically these, this is what I'm gonna be doing with them. Um, obviously I look forward to you know seeing them, inside, helping them inside and outside of the gym. And obviously we're gonna put the date here as well. Obviously everything's above there, but I just wanna put it there so they understand. Time, 9 a.m. location, and you'll see why we're doing this as well. Location is obviously my gym. And obviously a number, we'll just put four, one, two, three, one, three. All right, that's not actually my number, guys and girls, just in case you're wondering. And then a URL under here, we've got URLs connecting to obviously um, our Facebook pages, demo ones, and then we're just gonna put obviously www.smarter.com, okay, down there. 
Now this looks a lot better, okay? So what we're gonna do, everything's there, all the, everything's confirmed, and now we're gonna press send, okay? Now you know if it has an invitation or it's, it's got a person attached to it, if it's got that little guy there. Now we're just gonna wait a few seconds and see what actually happens. I'm gonna pull up, yep, it's been confirmed, it's been sent, I can see it on my other screen. So I'm just gonna go to here, and this is, uh, well, my calendar, okay? So this is my calendar. Um, and you can see that the Bart confirmed. So this is Bart's calendar in theory. Um, it's obviously showing up. Now, if I go to my email as well, so let's go to, where is it? bloody hell, Gmail. There anyway. And you can obviously see that the invitation is there as well. As you can see, it's obviously appeared into my email address. It's appeared on my calendar as well. And if the phone is connected as well, guess what? It's gonna appear on their phone. Now, I recommend that we push two to three of these calendar notifications to obviously the email as well, to the calendar, and obviously phone, already on top of this confirmation as well, okay? So we wanna create, we wanna duplicate this event, okay? What we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate this event, but we're gonna take out the, the obviously the attendee. Remember, this is Bart, not Joshua Haswell. <laughs> So we're gonna remove intend, um, invitee, sorry. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna separate him up to here. And we're gonna double click on that again. And we're gonna obviously remove these alerts. So once you remove that, let's just go duplicate again and pull him over there. Now you'll get to see what I'm doing in a moment. Okay, so for Tuesday, Tuesday is the day before, which is tomorrow, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this as Tomorrow is your health and fitness assessment. And I wanna change this one to, today is your health and fitness assessment, okay? So we've got those. Now we wanna make sure that these ones are full day events, okay? So all day, and let's go all day. Done. Now, we're not gonna add the, in, the invitee yet. We're not gonna add, obviously, the email address so it sends them a notification until it's the day before and that day. Because if we send it now, saying tomorrow um, is, your, is your event, they're gonna be a bit confused because they're gonna say tomorrow is your event, but then it's Monday. So that means Monday is gonna be when their assessment's on. So it'll just get a little bit confusing. So what you wanna do is make sure on Tuesday, when you have some admin time or, or administration time, when you wanna do some follow-ups or some calls, whatever you're gonna be doing, you wanna come in here, edit it. So you come in here, so we're gonna say make, we're gonna say it's Tuesday today, not, it's not Sunday, it's Tuesday. And all we need to do is add their email address and go send, as simple as that. Now on Wednesday, you've obviously got this event as well. So I recommend when you wake up in the morning. But if you know it's obviously 9 a.m., they're probably gonna wake up maybe somewhere around there. So maybe push an event to them at six. So at 6 a.m., if you remember, just before, in between clients, whatever it's gonna be, just send them that invitation and press send on that Wednesday and go send, okay? Now, as I said, it all appears in their calendar. Now, remember, I'm pushing it to, obviously, my other email account over here. And you obviously see there's two there. So let's see if you click on two, you can see, let's unclick it. It's obviously there. It's just waiting to obviously, there's one event coming, still coming, but obviously I need to accept or decline, whatever it's gonna be. But it appears in my calendar. I, there's no way, I get, no way for me to escape that it appears in my calendar. I've got numerous amount of emails as well from it. So let's just go to um, Chrome again. And as you can probably see, I've got obviously all the invitations as well. Now, remember when I said that you can use this to be a sneaky way to get more people to show to events, free talks, open weeks, um, pretty much anything that you're having within your business. So if you've got, if you have a database of clients that you couldn't reach or just wanted to remind them of the event or something that you're offering, you could push these events to every one of those calendars.
So all you need to do is follow the exact same steps I've told you here regarding obviously making a confirmation here, but you can obviously do these events as well to let people know, okay? You can probably do tomorrow, today, you can push them as well, it's up to you. But just remember, if you are gonna be doing this, don't spam and ensure that you individually send each notification. The reason why I say send each individually is because if you put multiple email addresses in there, that means those people can obviously see those email addresses as well, which not many people like. To, to some, their email is private, so you don't wanna be doing that. Now, if you do have a large database, you know, you've got like, you know, 300, 400 emails that you do wanna, or people that you want to invite to an, an event, um, outsource it. You know, get a virtual assistant to do it and they can do it for pretty much dirt cheap. But if you've got a smaller database, maybe you've only got 50, you know, 60 people that you want to invite to this event, um, obviously as, with your obviously marketing as well that you're doing, but you've got obviously a database of email addresses as well. Um, you can probably do this over two, three days. Just spend an hour each day sending out these invitations. But I hope that helps guys and girls. I know it's a little bit long recording, but if you need any help, you need anything, you know where to find me. See you guys and girls, bye-bye.